Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Xu Qianduo. Vice President of the United States Joe Biden has recently urged Donald Trump to be more serious and told him it's time to be an adult. Grow up. Time to be an adult. You're president. You got to do something. Show us what you have. That sums up quite well about Donald Trump since his election in early November. While Biden was mostly targeting at his refusal to listen to the analysis of the intelligence community about Russia's alleged involvement in U.S. elections, Trump's China policy is no better. For example, he is almost certain to impose some tariffs on imported Chinese goods, and there is a possibility of creating more trouble over Taiwan issue. The talk of 45 percent tariffs on Chinese products is seen as unrealistic. With the potential of leading to trade conflicts, if not a trade war, and there's little chance of any side winning that game. First of all, as the world's second largest economy, China has more than enough tools to fight back. For example, China is the third largest market of U.S. exports, such as corn, soybeans, and pork. Secondly, suppose there's a sudden increase of prices of Chinese goods in the U.S. As a result of extra tariffs, how do the U.S. consumers respond to that? Are they going to welcome the prospect of paying more in shoes and clothes in the stores? Very unlikely. The reality is, China and the U.S. are strongly interdependent. For example, China is the largest source of international students in the U.S. Chinese investments in the U.S. has surpassed that from the U.S. in China a couple of years ago. Trade is largely a win-win practice, as China is transforming its economy into one relying more on consumption and services. It will purchase more products from other countries, including the United States. Yes, there is a trade deficit on the side of the U.S., but that can't be resolved overnight or with a simplistic method like imposing 45 percent tariffs. It requires carefully deliberated policies and negotiations with your trade partners. Besides, the U.S. runs deficit with over 100 countries, and China is only one of them. On the Taiwan issue, any moves trying to sabotage the cross-strait relationship will be unwise, as criticized widely by experts within the U.S. Those who understand the sensitivity of the Taiwan issue know that. China will do whatever it takes to defend its national sovereignty and territorial integrity. If Taiwan issue runs out of control, we'll be talking about a disaster in the whole region, and the U.S. will be held accountable for that. On that, the Chinese government may have a point that cooperation is the only correct choice for China and the U.S. for the benefits of both countries as well as the whole world. Those are simple words, but likely to be proved the right way forward. Thank you for watching.